Hello there, everybody. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, once again. And this is the 4 o'clock games, 34 days of crappy games. And before we're going to start this game tonight, which this week, today, we're going to start off with one of the first ones I'm going to show it to you before we, we start our program. All I got to say is, um, to my knowledge, I will be doing all 34 games and all 34 days of all the games that I am been playing because just to, throughout the show, I will... Throughout this program, I will be talking about playing this and give you a little bit of a playthrough of a game. So I don't know how to figure out. I don't know how to, what else to do. So I'm just going to figure out what you can do next. So this video that I'm going to do all for my for my demonstration purposes or throughout the whole production of my 30, 40, the crappy games, I'm going to tell you one thing to show you all about this. I will rant as long as I wanted because... I will apologize for if I can see if I do during my during my making of my show I do the yelling and the screaming and all this stuff so if you don't if you if you don't like my, my show or something like this please don't watch my video or something um, if you don't if you want to just do something or watch something else but if you watch one of the angry video game nerd episodes go check it out go check out one of these game reviewers go check out one of the irate gamer or the angry video game nerd episodes and uh, this is what you're going to do. Um, throughout the 40, 34 days, I am going to do uh, an, ex an exact playthrough of probably the worst games ever made for the NES or Sega Genesis or, or every console known to mankind. And I will apologize for the yelling and the screaming. If, you, if I do some of my screaming and yelling, all this stuff throughout my video... Um, I will not gonna explain to this anymore. So we'll just if anyone out there, please don't leave me a comment or anything like this. If I if you see any of my hate com any of those hate comments, it needs to be any users will be blocked, and they'll be expelled or probably whatever it is. I'm sorry. So I will either if if any of this just avoid if anyone trolled at me, please do not leave me write me a comment or anything like this saying something nasty or any negative stuff. If I see any of the negative stuff again, maybe it will be blocked or reported. So I'm just going to show it to you one thing for this before the show is going to start with the 34 Days of Crappy Games. So without further ado, let's start this and uh, we're going to get to our first crappy game of the day. So let's begin the 34 days of crappy games when we're gonna start things off with this game it's called one of the worst game of all time and that is dragon's lair this game was released in 1990 for the nes and this game came to us from a company known as image soft and uh there's actually image soft was and was the company that it, it was image soft was the company that made the uh, other game but this only released only one game it says the return adventure into the dragon's lair and this was based off the original arcade game that was released in 1984 it featured some animation made by don bluth you know don bluth who was also the animator for disney he first came to disney in the 70s when he did robin hood he did also did animation for robin hood the rescuers pete's dragon and the small one after that after he left disney they went on to went to work he went on to do animated films like The Secret of Nim and American Tale, All Those Go to Heaven, Rocket Doodle, and a couple of other movies, you know, Anastasia, right up until Titan AE in 2000. Yeah, Titan AE is probably the worst animated film of all time. It's kind of like it was, the film didn't do well. It was an okay film, but it didn't do well as well, probably. And it was also Don Bluth's last film. And if you notice, this is this is the it's based on the Laserdisc game. It was released on Laserdisc back in 1984. It has some cutscenes from an animated film, and this is Solomon Bluth presents Dragon's Lair, and it says here, from the deep within Mordok's castle, a foul stretch rose up, to the mix with the cold, damp midnight air, the telltale sign of the evil wizards. Pet fire breathers dragon. Singe the reek breath 
of the beast that guard the guard the princess Daphne in the dark and deadly ca caves from below the surface dark the ha dark the darings walked steadily towards the castle gate he felt so no fear fear was for cowards not the most courageous knight in the land no other no other would dare enter this perilous castle where Mordok had imprisoned the helpless princess but then no other could match Dirk's un what's this unrelently love for the beautiful princess Daphne there was no other possible course of action now was the time to now was the time for heroes now was the time to enter the dragon's lair Dragon's Lair Double Challenge Offer. And, and look at this. It says, In addition to the NES version of Dragon's Lair, CAG Image, CSG Image Soft and is introducing an amazing Game Boy version, Dragon's Lair The Legend, in early 1991. The Game Boy version will feature adventurous gameplay, stereo sound, and exciting graphics, so you can take the breathtaking action of Dragon's Lair with, with you whenever you go. Coming soon. See... See inside the instruction manual for a limited special bonus offer. Yeah, this game's kind of awfully bad. It's actually, this is my first entry to the 4 o'clock games, 34 Days of Crappy Games. So, what I'm going to be playing? Well, let's find out. And where I'm going to play this, I'm going to... Just to say one thing so I can tell. Just before all the 34 games I've been playing right, as of right now, I'm, I apologize. Well, I am... Um, you know, this is a warm. I'm just going to give you a little bit of a warning here for, for all you viewers on my on my channel who came to me to my channel. I'll just I'll just want to say to this one, but please refrain from uh, from trolling or anything like that. But please do not leave any of these nasty comments with him. But if he, if if I see any of these nasty comments, uh, you would be blocked. So, so I hope you all just just. Keep settled down and take a deep breath. Good. So now, let's start this game with Dragon's Lair for the NES. And I hope you all enjoy it, and let's get on to the gameplay. And here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play the worst game ever made, Dragon's Lair. Okay, let me see. We're going to start this game right now, and... Uh, this is actually bad. I don't know. It's bad. Okay, let's let's start this game, shall we? Oh, you had to start with the axe. And now, I just died. Okay, okay. Things getting tough right now. This is the first stage of the game. It is a frustrating game. For some darn reason, who cares when you make the game look like that? Uh, now you gotta... the. Alright. I just wanna go back and squat this... THE HELL! This is indeed the first stage of the game. Why do I fall in into the pit and die? Okay, Jedi reviewed this back in like a long time ago with 2006. I do not care. This is, I can't stand the gameplay. It's just awkward controls. Who cares about this? This game, it looks like that. You know, I hate the game. This is actually based off a, a laser disc game. Made by the, the the guy who who did right after he left Disney was Don Bluth. You know Don Bluth did the Rescuers and Robin Hood and Peach Dragon and the small one. All right, this is the stupidest game I got. I I I, I just gotta tell you, it's bad controls. Okay, this is this is this is getting tough right now. I can't really stand why. Yeah, you get five chances 
and I can't get no info on this. You know, the Batman or whatever, you have to shoot this, this piece of garbage out. It's a garbage game. You know, you have to get the gold. I gotta tell ya. You have to shoot the dragon first, you know. I gotta do is this is what I'm, I'm I'm trying to help you. I, I I just gotta help you with the game, you know. This is the first stage of the game. Okay, we just made past there, so let's go there and just dodge the G's. And I, I can't, I, 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 I can't die. Look at this. I died in this game. But this is, this is torturous. No! No! What a bad sign. I can't really, can't really stand this game. I, I, I can't, I can't yell and scream like this anymore. You know, you just hit the bat right now, and I, I, I'm just going to get the G. Get the G. And now, oh, darn you. Darn you. For the love of Batman. You know what? Bill Cosby. Just stupid. Why do we make a game like this? This is so torturous. And now he died. Now I freaking die. Oh. Please. 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 Oh, please. Oh, please. Oh, please. Just give me just one more chance now. All right. Oh. Darn you. Darn you. Give me one more chance or I'll... Oh, no, 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 no! Oh, gosh, this is sickening! This is sickening! Oh, no, no! He gotta die on this stupid battle! He's gonna fight this stupid dragon and then this is the first stage of the game! Alright. Okay, this is where I gotta do. Fight the boss. Fight the boss. Let me get it. Yeah, you gotta fight the dragon right now. Okay. Well, you can dodge correctly. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Now you just died. Okay. Now let's go jump in and do this. We made it! We made it! Yay! Oh wait, I gotta I gotta calm down and yelling and screaming in this. Okay, this is the second stage of the game. We gotta watch out where you you have to do is dodge it. Okay, you have to time this right correctly in order to get this. Okay. Now you got now you're cooking. Okay, this is this is fun. No! No! This game doesn't have any checkpoints whatsoever. Oh my freaking doofus. Okay, we just get past further. He ain't throw rocks and turn into a skeleton and dies. Okay, get this. Oh, huh. that's so close. No! He died on a freaking door. Urgh. No! 
This is frustrating, folks. This is frustrating, folks. Oh my. Do this. I gotta get this. This is getting tough now. I think I had enough. I think I had this enough. Okay. Yeah, you could ground the game if you want. Okay. This is a big mistake in the game. Look at the controls. Okay. Oh, now you just got hit. Okay. You gotta watch out for all that thing and... Okay, the bats are involved. Who get this idea from this game? Okay. You have to dodge away from this. No! Oh my, darn you, darn you. Oh yeah, now we're back in the checkpoint. Now you got the dagger. Okay, now you've got the dagger back. Okay, that that's good. No! Oh my, no, oh no, no, that's enough for this. He's dead. He's dead. How you, you can't die. You know what? I cannot get this game and die at any time at all. Okay, we gotta get over it. Get over it, baby. Oh, just, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of all this! Oh, now you just got near and didn't die. Oh, no, no! Don't, 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 don't do this to me! Don't do this to me! Okay. Now we're just gonna hit in the snake right now. Okay, you gotta be very careful. If you know, this is this is why you gotta time this correctly. Oh no no, that's yeah. You have to time your jumps right. If you don't get too close to the edge, I'd have died. I get I can't get I can't believe this. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, man, I, I, I had enough with this. I can't stand the game right now. I I did a full... I, I just had to tell you, this is this is Dragon's Lair. I don't know if you'll remember the fan of Don Bluth's animated movie. You remember An American Tale. Yeah, you remember The Rescuers. You remember Peach Dragon and... Oh, my darn. Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay. Oh, I had enough with this game. I get, I get, I can't, I can't had enough. I had enough with this. Okay, let's, let's go, let's, let's, let's do this. I just want to show you how you feel. Remember Don Bluth. Don Bluth. I, I just got to tell you that this is, you know, he was in, uh, in the studio. You know, they made a movie. You, you remember Don Bluth? He came on to do animated movies. Yeah, that's, that's, that's freaking. You know, this is what I can talk about this game. I, I just want to... I'll, I'll look at the director's uh, filmographies. I just want to tell you, this is... This is absolutely ridiculous. I, I want to go to 17 credits. If you get to tell you... Alright. Um, this is this is why we do produce a lot of great animated movies. You think... Uh, you think I'm, uh, I'm a bad, bad way to do this game? I get... This is the animation department. Yeah, remember, he went to Disney and started doing a character animator for the movie Robin Hood. Then, Winnie the Pooh and Tigger 2, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, The Rescuers, Peach Dragon, and of course, The Small One. 
after they left this the studio, they went out and probably around I think was was this. Oh yes, the, um, went to do his first post Disney anime movie. The I think it was um, the Secret of Nim, then followed by the small one. And no, no, that's right. Uh, then the Secret of Nim, then uh, an American Tale, Land Before Time, All Dogs Go to Heaven, Rockadoodle, Thumbelina, Troll in Central Park. Uh, Pebble and the Penguin, Anastasia, and of course the last animated movie I think was Titan A.E. I, I, I cannot believe this. I cannot stand. And then they made a game on it, Nintendo. Why do we know? It's based off the the actual laser disc game and I can't really describe it. Okay. I had enough. I had enough with this. I had enough with this game. I, I can't stand this anymore. Let me try this again with this... with this freaking code. Alright, we're gonna start with level 4. Okay, I am going to use Game Genie code, so I'm not gonna play through the entire freaking nightmare of this game. Okay, let's, let's start this game and, uh... Let's see. Let's start this game with level four. Okay, now we're warping to. Now we're warping down to level. Oh my gosh! Now you gotta warp all the way to level four, and you have to beat the game. Now we have to do with the axe. Hey, I, whoa, 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 whoa! You gotta watch out for the holes. Dano! Book him, Dano! I really, really, really pissed me off with this game. I, I can't really stand this game very much. You gotta do, just, just jump to the obstacles. You gotta jump over there. This is stupid, man. Stupid. How do they make a game look like it's stupid? You know, if the words of Weird Al Yankovic, dare to be stupid. I I really can't really describe the controls. The controls look pretty bad for an NES game. This is the worst example of being the worst game ever made. This is what I gotta do. I hate this freaking game. You know what? Calm down, you horrid game. I freaking believe this game is a mess. And I can't, I, I, I can't, I, I died in the instant death. Instant death. What I, I, um, I cannot believe this. Ladies and gents. Alright, yeah, there's flying skulls. And I, and I, and I died. Alright, he died instantly. We know it's painfully died. And I, and I, and I died again. Good save me. You know what?
This is this is ridiculous. Why do we think it's ridiculous to make a game like this? It's you gotta throw rocks and you think you're dead. You know, it's instant death. And I know I died. All right, I ha I, I got I decided to quit right now. All right, I decided to quit the game. I give up. I give up. Whew. Woo! Man, there's no way to beat the game. I I, I do not can't stand. This is the. The worst example of being the worst game of all time. This is even as worse as E.T. on the Atari 2600. Or something like... Ugh. Please help me. Please help me. Alright. I had it decided. I give up with this game. I think it's not good. Oh boy. I want to show you the ending to Dragon's Lair. Okay, I want to show you what it is. So, after all this torturous stage in this frustrating game called Dragon's Lair, I decided to quit. So, after all this happening, because all the frustrating stages and all the frustrating bosses in the game, I want to show you the final boss in the game. So, um, it is definitely the hardest boss in NES history. And that's what we call it in this Dragon's Lair. And before I go to say, this video came to us from Metroid Master 88. I don't know why, because I want to thank him for, for, for bringing this video up on YouTube. And uh, I know it was eventually, I, I stole it from me. I don't know, I know some of the users stole it, one of their videos, but not Ali Jessa's. But <laughs> it's just probably me. I can get credit to Metroid Master 88 for this video on YouTube for this one of those bo hardest bosses ever made. So with the commentary, I'm going to show you what the final boss looked like. And let's play it right now. Okay, this is the final boss. Yeah. And it's the worst boss end boss ever made. You have to you jump all the way up there. You have to avoid the smoke. And you know what? This is this is the most confusing end boss in video game history. It is a very tough boss. You had to watch out and very careful. You had to watch out for this. If this happens, you died with only one hit. I know you actually got hit, but anyways, this is. This has got to be ridiculous, and it's one of the toughest end boss in video game history. Yeah. I don't really hate this game at all. I cannot stand. This is the game I cannot stand this at all. You know, watch out for the big smoke, and what happens, you, you actually lose a life. But that's stupid. I can't really stand and now he now he dies now he's walking so slow and you'll have to see the ending this is the worst ending in video game history congratulations our hero is triumphant Daphne of Scooby-Doo is saved from Singa's evil clutches may you both live happily ever after wait a second this ending doesn't make any sense what is it saying that the last text says it May you both live happily ever after. Snow White does have an ending that had the last words at the end of every fairy tale. Snow White, Cinderella, Sleeping Beauty. If you watch any of the Disney movies, you know you had, it ends the, ends the movie with this. I, I cannot really describe this. The worst ending in video game history. And that was it. That was Dragon's Lair. I really cannot really play this game anymore. Man, this game is torturous and so bad. I just had to tell you, this is a, the worst game ever made, and I can't really stand it at the for this point of view. And I, and then once again, thanks to Metroid Master eighty eight for this, actually a, a video that he uploaded on YouTube. So thank you very much for that. And it was uh, actually stole it from me. It's stolen by me. Well, I just had to tell you though, this is what I'm going to do a commentary video on that. 
So, what I'm going to do right now with this game, let's go to Go Anime and ground Dragon's Lair. You know what? Dragon's Lair is going to get grounded. Okay, Dragon's Lair NES is going to get grounded. Let's go out to Go Anime and let's ground this game. And I'll be back with a more frustrating game for the next episode of the 4 o'clock games 34 days of crappy games Dragon's Lair NES how dare you bad a god awful video game with extremely bad controls poor gameplay and even bad music and it was based on a Lazardus game by Don Bluth the guy who made the Disney animated films like The Rescuers, Robin Hood and The Small One as well as several post Disney animated films like The Secret of Nim, An American Tale all dogs go to heaven, Rocket Doodle, Anastasia and Titan AE, you're grounded and we will give you some punishments. No. What's the first punishment? We will give him 9,000 slaps. No. What's the next punishment? We will spray purple around him. <laughs> What's the next punishment? We will call a pair man to show you bad video games for the Atari 2600. That game is so gay. What's the next punishment? We will let LJN play the Back to the Future stage music. Upstairs to your room now. Well, 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 well. That takes care of Dragon's Lair. And here's some my conclusion to this game. The game was horrible. Bad gameplay. Terrible controls. And that dreadful music. And it ends up dying. You know what? There are a lot of stuff. You have to avoid there's smoke in here and you gotta watch out for the smoke. If 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 you see smoke, if you get touched by a smoke, you you get instant death. Yeah, I have sick and tired of these instant deaths. This is getting way too hard. Yeah, I've been frustrated by playing this game because of this awfully mess. So here's one thing for all you people out there, if you have never been a fan of this or if you're a fan of Dragon's Lair, and if if, if you've played the NES game, please do not play Dragon's Lair. It sucks. So, if you want to get a better game, play The Legend of Zelda, or play some different games on the NES, whatever. So, don't play this piece of garbage to go play Dragon's Lair. So, don't play it, or else uh, this game should be grounded. Like we said in the video, you want to go back, if you want to see the grounded thing again, the Dragon Slayer gets grounded. Just go back and we'll watch it again. So, there you go. That's Dragon Slayer for the NES. So, I hope you all, this will be my first entry in the 4 o'clock games, 34 days of crappy games. Tomorrow, we'll play another crappy game. and Which is another piece of garbage. So, until then, I'll see you then. Tomorrow, I'll, I'll talk to you tomorrow.